I all Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to migrate your WordPress website to a new domain. In other words, taking your site from an existing domain, so something like wpfresh.com and moving it to a brand new domain or another hosting such as wpnew.site. It's quite easy and all you need is a free plugin called WP Vivid. I made a couple of videos on WP Vivid, both free and pro. You can check that out. With the pro version, you can set up one click staging for your site. Links to those will be in the description. So first, head over to your plugins, click on add new and make sure you have WP Vivid installed on your site. Just search WP Vivid and it's this one. So make sure you have installed and activated that on your site that you want to migrate and your destination site where you want to receive this particular site. So I'll just go to the site, click on add new. As of now, you can see that I don't have any plugins on this site. Also, I don't have any posts on this site. I don't have pages on this site. I don't even have any media on the site. All this can be done using migration. We'll basically migrate all the posts, media and everything that we have on this site to this site. So I'll just head over to plugins on my new site. I'll click on add new. The same thing, you install the same WP Vivid free plugin. Just search for WP Vivid install and activate the plugin. So once you install and activate WP Vivid on your new site, in case this is wpnew.site, even the domain extension is different, it doesn't matter. It will migrate and replace everything. It will automatically do it. So you don't have to worry much about anything. So I'll also make uh, another change to my old site. I'll just click on plugins, add new. I'll add a custom login page just to show you that even this will be reflected in my new site. So I'll search for Colorlib Customizer. I'll install and activate this. This is a free plugin that lets you customize the default WordPress login page. Made a video on that, you can check that out. So I've installed and activated Colorlib Login Customizer. Now I can go to Appearance, click on Customize and just change my login page. It'll load up my customizer interface. Scroll down till I see the option. I'll go to Templates and I'll pick this template. So this will be our login page. So when you log out, this will be the screen that you see. Something of that sort, publish it. Let us log out from our actual site. So this is what you see. Let us log out from our new site. And this is what you see. So even this change will be reflected in our migration site. I'll log in back to both of the sites. I'll just go to WP Vivid Backup. Go to Backup and Restore section. And here I'll just select database plus files. So it'll include all the files as well as the database. So all the things that the plugins created. I'll just save it to backup as local. It will just download the copy backup copy to my computer. Click on backup now. Now based on your backup size, it may be split into parts. Don't worry, you can upload all the parts together into your destination site. So I'll just click on backup now. So it's backing up my site. As you can see, it's showing me the database size and the file size. Mostly all the images are larger in nature. If you don't want to upload your files, you can simply click on database or this one. So that will only be back up your database and it will not include any files that you have on your site. And just like that, it appears in this tab right here. So you can download the backup from here. As you can see, it splits my backup of the source site into two parts can simply download that both the parts actually I'll download both the parts now I'll go to my destination site click on WP Vivid backup scroll down till you see the option that says upload just click on upload go down again I'll click on select files now you'll have both the parts just select both of them and click on open and it'll Upload both the files into one file on your destination site. Just wait and watch. Click on upload and you can see the progress here. It will merge both the backup parts and upload it as one. This usually happens when you have a lot of media files on your source site. So the first part is uploaded and now the second part is being uploaded and it says it's done. I'll hit OK. Now I have my backup here. I just want to restore it on my destination site. What that essentially will do is replace all the things that has wpfresh.com with wpnew.site. Even the extension is changed, but it doesn't matter. You can simply hit restore 
and it will restore all the files. I'll wait for it to complete. It will possibly log me out because we changed even the login page here. I'll just wait for it to restore. Now it says restoration complete. I'll just hit OK and it'll log me out and you can see even the login screen is changed because that's what we have on the source site. Let's enter the credentials. In case you change the credentials, you need to enter new credentials. So in case you change the username and password to something else on your source site, you should enter those credentials, but I didn't change those in my source site. So I'll just hit enter. Now we can go to pages, click on all pages. And just like that, we have all the pages. I'll click on media and it has all the files that this particular site has. So let's put that side by side just like that the entire media library is copied to our new site let's click on plugins list so there are seven plugins in total i'll go to our destination site click on plugins and just like that everything else is pushed to the new site as well so that's how you migrate your wordpress website from one domain to another domain for free and effortlessly this is a free plugin but the pro version also offers few more perks and few more things that the free version cannot do such as backup limits, custom snapshot backup and all that. You can check that out but if you want to just migrate your site this is a great deal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.